You should be on there. I think people, you know, I think that's give somebody the power to just say what they want to say. Let's let me see your picture so I can kind of see your spirit there. So, but it was an actual picture. It wasn't like a Photoshop picture right. or one from my phone. It was an actual picture. I took a lot of time with that with the picture because you know all people are gonna see that. Do you ladies get any kind of kick out of using a social networking page? Is it something about it that just kind of just makes you jittery, or is it anything? Is it, um, do you get a kick out of out of being on a social network page? I absolutely love Twitter, but I don't get like a kick. I find it very amusing. I get uh, it's some really interesting people and some laughs, but I mean. I'm not like a sugar high or like a Twitter high. Like, I don't just, like, lose my mind. But I, I do. That's the first app I downloaded on my phone. So I obviously love Twitter a good deal. My my kick would be reading encouraging statuses that my friends post. They always have something that's going to convict you with scripture or, you know, something that will make you really, really think about your lifestyle and how you're living your life and how you're treating people and different things in life and just hearing and seeing, you know, even when I post things and hearing people reaction and everything and telling me that, you know, your status was helpful in, in their lives. And that was really, really good. And I love hearing that. Okay. <laughs> Why do I always get that? Why do I always get that look from you, Miss Rival, when the mic comes your way? No, because I'm listening to them, and I think that's just you know so sweet. That's good. Yeah, I do. I just, but I'm always amazed how people can be just become so profound and so deep. I think you know when I read things on it. Even my daughter wrote something one time, and I was like. Well, you know, how she get that deep, you know. Uh, it You'd be surprised. People, I think people have the opportunity when, when they're not, you know, when they're on there, they they can just, you know, you they can just say me. what they want right. and they just come up with things and I just, and I'm at a different age. So, you know, um, my encouragement comes from, People like Ed come to the window and, and talk and knowing that, you know, my daughter is doing well and I see people all the time. So that's more my social networks. And when I get on there and I just, these people are just sitting here and they're just typing up, just typing <laughs> up a storm. And and I'm hoping Lizard someone's, yes, I'm hoping someone is reading this. <laughs> but that's why I said, you know, I'm just listening to them. I think that's so sweet. But that's a lot of time to be sitting yeah. on a computer and just stuff. <laughs> it's just, just so use, deep. Some people use Facebook and MySpace and whatever you use as like a diary. Like, yes. that's not my goal. It's to yes. document my, my life and goals. And it's really for pure entertainment. And it is pure entertainment. It is. Um, it is. Is there anything about social networking that you ladies don't like? I asked you about what kick you get out of it. Mm. What kick don't you get out of it? I think it's too much. I think people just too much information. Yeah. You know, you don't have to tell everything. And and then you think maybe there is that person who's not able to get out or they have a problem, which I don't think being on Facebook for a long length of time would help you with that problem. If you have a problem where you, meeting people or interacting with people you're gonna have to work on that um facebook is wonderful uh, for meeting people and i say meeting people because i just really think you have to realize you don't you don't really know a person i don't think until you can look in their eyes and see their, their spirit mm -hmm. um so that's why i think Facebook is nice, and I think any social network where you have something incompatible with someone, <clears throat> it could be cooking, it could be music, it could be anything, then I think that I, that's when I see that it's, you know, but just to meet people, mm -hmm. um, I don't I don't think that, I don't like that about it, the, the meeting, feeling like you need Facebook to meet people. Yeah. <laughs> I have unfriended so many people. Because I was, it's a lot of things 
posting your birth of your child on Facebook, that's unnecessary. It's a lot of drama that was started with MySpace, where people left MySpace to go to Facebook because it was getting so childish. So it is a, a issue with um, people will handle their, their beef with friends and stuff over Facebook. And sometimes you forget when you have 1,300 friends on Facebook, you everybody sees what you post mm -hmm. so it's very unfortunate that I have to know that you're beefing with this person because you accepted me as a friend so. what about you Chantelay what what kick don't you get out of using social networking sites what don't you like to see on Facebook I hate cursing okay that is just, I hate it mm -hmm. I hate cursing and when I see a curse word you know, you try to not let it get to you or, you know, get to your spirit because the things that people post, it, whether they know it or not, it affects, you know, the other person. Whether, you know, they could be having a great day, mm -hmm. but then they see this, this this drama on Facebook or on Twitter, somebody bashing someone else or talking about someone or just simply being so pitiful upon themselves like I've had such a horrible day. I can't believe it. You know, just stuff like oh, that. Oh, there's some serious Debbie <laughs> Downers on Facebook. That Debbie is Downers. Mm. When you say curse words, do you do you mean any curse word? I see. I cause the reason why I say that is because. I know there's a people make a distinct difference between what is considered cursing and what's not. There's those what I like to call biblical curse words, mm -hmm. words that we in human society now in 2011 A.D. may consider cursing, but those those same words are in the Bible. Mm -hmm. So, what level of profanity? were you referring to in regards to when you view these statuses on Facebook? Well, even if you say H-E-L-L, -L, if you take it out of context, which is when in context in the Bible, it means the actual hell. Mm -hmm. You know? with the go-to. I have a problem yeah. with... I don't have a problem... Anything you want to say in front of your mother. Yes, if you can't say it in front of your mom or... Mm -hmm. You know, but then again, you know, some people hey, their mother. Hey, I've seen it. I've and even, seen it. Yes, <laughs> even on statuses and everything. You type if you type a curse word. Oh, I didn't know. Yes, you can curse. You can say. You can say anything. whatever you want to say on Facebook. Miss Robin. Yeah, I guess Miss Robin doesn't make enough statuses on her <laughs> Facebook page. I guess you think that when you type in a curse word the what the, the computer automatically puts stars on the letters that spell out the curse word. No, but if you send something and you are cursing, and I'm sure that's not they don't think it's acceptable. Well no. And um it's, but they're not gonna So I didn't know it. people just, you know, just because you think it doesn't mean you have to say it. I mean, you know what I'm saying? I'm, I might want to curse you out, but I can still make that point without. And I didn't have to even worry about how to spell it, you know. Sounding it out. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, why, why don't you all share with me a positive or negative, or with our listening audience, rather, a positive or negative experience that you or someone that you know may have had on a social networking site? Um, oh, well, one positive that is current is um, when my best friend passed in December, her mom went on Facebook because she knew that, um, she knew that my, she, my best friend, she knew that she used Facebook just as much as the next person. And... She actually gained more friends when she passed through her testimony and through her lifestyle with kidney failure and organ donor. She gained more friends after she died than she had when she was living. And it also, she used Facebook and all her friends through Facebook to start um, an awareness chapter and a scholarship to, um, to start letting young people know about organ donating and your options with that so um that's like the biggest thing on facebook right now with me is we make sure that when we get stuff from her mom 
we post it on her memorial site and let people know about Oregon Dummy and her life. Mm. So that's that's bigger than Facebook itself. It has nothing to do with Facebook. That's bigger than me and her. So, I mean, I guess Facebook is good for some stuff. Well, I would say, you know, when we had the tornado or the hurricane in, um, in Alabama, Tuscaloosa, you know, a lot of people make pages and everything for certain situations, and they made a page for that. And it was a lot of people, you know, willing to help. It was like posting statuses, you know, praying for them, for their recovery. And that is a positive thing as well to know that you know people in Alabama they have hearts we have hearts we can be sympathetic and we can lend out a hand to one another and encourage one another and donate clothes and food and money and stuff like that because I was even willing I was like yo whoever whoever sees the status whoever likes the status befriend me and I will give you such and such amount of money you know and it's, it's just stuff like that is just wonderful to see and at that at that point of time I was in a point of giving and I and I knew that I had to you know better my giving and up that level to be more like Christ so I knew that I had to do something to you know it's, it's something to just you know ask God and pray about it but you also have to put the works behind it is 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 not just enough to just pray and say God make make me this way make me that way but God has already given you the word you know the bible the word you know right in front of you all you have to do is read it pray about it and then you you make some actions toward that through his strength i mean he's already given us the strength to do everything that we need to do all we have to do is just put out that that extra foot that extra hand to people hmm. Wow. Uh, Do you have any positive news? Hmm. Um, on Facebook, on any social network, for me, uh, my social network, as far as my spirit, uh, spiritual life is concerned, takes place um, at my church. So when I look at social networks, uh, like the one I'm on for school, it is just what it is. A social thing. Um, at this at this point in my life, I'm not in the clubs. So at this point, when you get to this point in your life, you start valuing friends. Mm. So to get on there and see someone that I knew in elementary school, and at your age, that's not a lot. Mm-hmm. But for me, that's a long time ago. Mm-hmm. And know that there's still alive and still well. Mm-hmm. Um, that's what I get. I'll get a kick out of that when I see a name that I know I have not seen in a long time. And Facebook helped to put together uh, a reunion that I just came from in Atlanta. Um, there are enough people who have left Ohio and moved to Atlanta that we now have um, uh, a Dayton Atlanta reunion. So all the information, it was on Facebook. So I had to follow Facebook. I had to listen to people and to find out what was going on and who was coming. So for me, that's probably the part that I, I really I, I find good about it. I like about it. It's connect, it is connecting with people. And I may not ever see them, but at least you get to know if while they're living. And if something happens to them, I'm sorry to say at this point, when they die, at least you know someone will be on there to let you know that this particular mm-hmm. person has passed. Because you would never know. You think about it, really, before all this came, if someone you knew and you weren't living at home anymore and they passed, you may go home and it had been years and they had passed. Mm-hmm. And it, that would just break your heart. So at least now, I, I will look at that as the good part of it. You will, you do have an, uh, the ability to keep up with people living and dead. Wow. Well, ladies, it is uh, 29, 29 minutes past the hour here on 91.9 FM WLJS Jacksonville we're about to take a quick commercial break but when we come back ladies I'm going to ask you you, 
your opinions in regards to things that you see posted on social networking sites, your feelings about them, and do you think they're good, bad, positive, or negative? That's coming up next here on Late Night with Ed Moore the Third. We're talking about social networking.